Right, so because there are a load of different errors in Firebase, we need to figure out a way of handling them. So we've created all of our functions in this build so far. But what we want to do is in most of our functions, we have a catch block. So let me just quickly close everything off. And if we go into our Firebase folder in here, we have quite a few folders. So first off, what I want to do is I want to access email auth in here. We have the register user, login email user with email and password and update user and so on. And the same in all these other folders. But what happens is we have a catch block in all of the folders. So let me just quickly close this. And the catch block is basically saying console.error of the error. It's not descriptive. It's not handling it correctly. And it's not returning the correct text. So what we want to do is have a universal error handler that basically handles all of the Firebase errors because essentially in this folder, we are handling Firebase errors. So the logical thing to do is handle them correctly. So let's go into our browser and there is a page here. This is the URL, but essentially these are all of the errors. So here's a full list of error codes and descriptions including recommended resolution steps that are thrown by the Firebase admin API. So this is for auth only. So now you can see there's quite a few there. And what we want to do is if any of them are triggered, then we want the user to be well informed and understand what's actually going on. So let's create a function that will handle the errors. And what I'm gonna actually do is bring it in, in my Firebase folder. So where we have authentication in here. So these are the authentication errors only. So if I paste it in, we have an error handler and this error handler essentially is going to return the relevant information. And this can be an index.ts file because there's no JSX in here. So as you can see, it's just a switch statement. And in the switch statement, you have a load of errors being handled. So instead of the toast error, I'm going to quickly just return this as alert instead. So I'm all up like so. So what happens is if the case is this, then it will return the relevant text and so on. So I've already handled this for you. So this is going to be the helper function. So I could do generate error message, which is a better name for this. And actually we, what we should do is generate Firebase auth error message, because you could be working in another section where it has another bit pieces of errors. So let's copy that. And now what we need to do is we need to use it in essentially all of the places that we are using it. So in email auth, we'll start off there. So in the catch block here, we'll keep this console.error, but what we want to do is check the type of error. So this is quite handy. So if, and then in this if check, you can do error is instance of error like that but this error is going to be a firebase error so we also need to import this in from firebase itself at the top in firebase auth in firebase app so if it is that error then we want to essentially use our function like that and we just need, need to import this in and then make sure this is optional in here so now we get the error in, what we actually want to do is pass in the error because we're handling the error.code within here. So let me just quickly check. So yeah, we get the error.code in the switch statement here. I'll also put in the URL for the docs in here as well. So that is essentially how you would handle the error. So what I need to do now is copy this catch block and do it for all of the other functions. So in my catch block before the console.error, I'm essentially handling the error this way so this is how you would handle the error and do the same for the rest as well so what we're going to be doing next is working with google sign in now so we want to be able to register and log in via google this is much easier than doing it with email authentication so we will do that next